Hello, okay, uh, I was planning to do more videos tonight, but uh, I've lost my proper charger, uh, so I'm using a, a not so very good one, the battery on my phone's not been charging so much. Really? Really? You're not supposed to be on the table. I know you're adorable, but not on the table, thank you. Right, uh, so I suspect we're going to get a lot of that this video, so let's just try and carry on before it starts. I'm going to have a look at it again. Sorry, Sir Toys. I haven't been downstairs into the cellar, so we're just going to get what you give them. Another Sir Toys set I was given, and this is potentially, other than like the Snarl and maybe a couple other things, this is potentially my favourite set that I got sent. That includes this, this, this rather awkward thing. Bring this up a little bit. And this. Now, if I remember rightly, because uh, I have seen what it's called, it's the Deluxe Audley Beast set. There's another word to the title, but I'll get to that later. Um, yeah, I, I assume there's like a bigger version of these that, you know, potentially doesn't have, shall we say, um, some of the corners cut. But these are actually still really cool, so give me a chance. Um, should we start at like the bottom end of the spectrum and work our way up? So let's try and get them into some sort of order. I think that's fair. So we'll start at the bottom end of the spectrum, sadly. Uh, and we'll go for this. And this is some sort of bird, I'm going to guess, you know, because it has wings and a weird sort of bird-like face um, and really big gangly legs hanging out from underneath it which are sadly really loose I might have to floor polish or something those see if I can get them to tighten up a bit so you can't like pose it like that or anything because well obviously it's hugely off balance and the way the uh, hips are molded you can't really push it any further forward I mean, maybe I could turn these around, but they haven't got any heels or anything. So it's a bit questionable. Um, but all these do have rope modes, so I might as well do the rope modes as I go. And um, should we transform this one? Uh, the wings do move forward and backward, but they're on these little mushroom caps in there. I don't know if I need to tidy these up a little bit or something, but they are very happy to just pop off. Uh, which will probably happen later on. But they're quite happy to pop off. So we'll turn it into a rock mode. So for that we're going to stand it up straight. And you could leave it there if you wanted to, but you can actually split the headpiece and turn the shoulder bits. Uh, it's easier to just bring off again to rotate them to the back and rotate them around that way. So it's a giant shoulder pads. Ah, oh, come on, really? And all being said and done, that doesn't look like a terrible robot mode. I mean, the head turns a little bit. I think it just pegs in. So you can turn it as much. You can take it off if you really want. But it doesn't hurt to leave it there. It's quite nice. It's not even that badly. It's it's minimal painted, but what's there is quite good. Um, this bit's a bit of a problem because again, it's only like a little grip kind of thing, and um, it's somewhat loose and a bit wibbly. But so what? All in all, it does look quite nice. It looks quite nice. We'll get back to that later, but it looks nice. This one, which is an um, elephant, mastodon, something. It's kind of cool. It's got its little trunk. It doesn't move. It's got its big tusks, which, you know, look kind of cool. got a little tail, which I'm aware should probably be the other way around, but it doesn't matter. It's a uh, little peg. You can turn it around if you want to. It's got missiles on the legs, which would fire into its front legs. But so what? It's fine. It's cool. Um... And that's fine. 
and it can turn to a robot mode. And it's it's about as easy as you can imagine. You just stand it up, fold the tail out of the way, and rotate the arms down. Actually, no, before you do that, you gotta rotate these hand bits back, uh, the sort of feet bit. Because if you try and do it before, I'll give you an example. Oh look, now they're caught in the lags. So we'll just try and just get them out of the way. It's got hands and they, they're very joints because they're actually, um, I can get this out. They're actually like hexagonal or something, the, the shape of the peg. It's not exactly round, it's more hexagonal. Uh, thanks, dog. So it's a bit of a pain. And also, I, I believe in the original pictures from Sirtoys, which is more choice than anything. This is the head, and the head is also a second piece on these two as well, where basically you're supposed to just like leave it off. But I'm worried about losing it, so I've found storage and I've just shoved it underneath, which again, sadly, will be on those two with varying degrees of success. So we're going to take off the elephant head, which goes into those out pegs with those two. That goes into the chest, which keeps all this together because this divide and stuff all the way down, it, that, that's for no particular reason, none at all. <clears throat> and we can plug the head into the middle peg, uh, middle hole. And head's all right. I mean, decent splash of paint. It'd probably be better, but it's it's not bad. I didn't do a size comparison for the animal modes, did I? Fortunately, I've still got a couple in animal mode, so we'll, for argument's sake, we'll get this one, and we'll pull in a uh, good old KO Studio Series scrap metal. And there. Uh, Deluxe-ish. They're, they're a lot more flimsy than this. Not flimsy plastic, just hollow. So, deluxe-ish. Okay. Decent robot mode. He's nice. I quite like the fists. So he can do some punching, but he can't put his arms all the way forward because the uh, actual foot piece actually starts catching on the ears. So, eh, but he's fine. He's fine. Get this one, which I want to say is my favourite. I want to say that, but I'm not convinced. And it's one of these like Chinese-style dragons, you know, like a Gigano dragon from the dinosaurs. And it's long, it's got this, and it's got the little legs at the sides, which definitely aren't stolen from a Power Rangers or prior to that, a Super Sentai series at all. Don't know what you're talking about. But it's nice enough, you know. This may or may not be a foot, but I like the fact that you know you can try and use it as a bottom jaw for the dragony head. It doesn't work so well, but you can try. And again, robot head is just hidden underneath. You can leave it off if you want, but but it's fine. It's all right. So to transform it, what we're going to do is take the dragon head off. These are all pegs, they all just all plug in to each other. Take that off, rotate the foot around, uh, rotate this to one side, that's as good as any other. Get this, rotate it to be the same way. Unplug, unplug. There we go. Get this and uh, rotate it so the head's up with the two holes at the bottom. It's up to you which side you want as the front, but this looks quite neat and tidy. And look, this looks a bit more, I don't know, like vents and stuff that'd be on the back of the machine. I, I imagine my, my head can it's up to you. Rotate this around and these actually squeeze together, become his arms, would you believe? So we'll squeeze those together, rotate it around. And now we can put the dragon head onto the front, which is cool. And we get these two pieces. And see this one's got pegs and this one's got holes. We actually plug those together and then stick this into those. 
and the cats had decided now's a good time to attack the scratching post because I kicked him off the table. And there he is in robot mode. And fair is fair, you can't really complain. That's a really nice robot mode. I mean, would it be nice if there was articulation in the legs and the arms? Yeah, of course it would. But it's still nice. I mean, even if you didn't want this on the front for some reason, you can store it on the back. Well, that way if you want. It's still a very smooth, simple, you know, no fuss, no muss robot mode. And I, I do like that. Okay, you stand there. We'll get the one that probably comes off the most successful in robot mode, at least. Maybe not maybe not vehicle, uh, vehicle animal mode, but we'll try. And it's this one, which is the... Um, tiger? I, I have no idea what it's supposed to be. Because um, the head looks kind of dragony, but because the way it is, it starts like at the back of the neck. There's no neck, there's no bottom jaw, there's nothing. Um, the robot mode head's stuck under there. You could plug it in here and try and have it as a mouth. I'll, I'll show you just for the sake of it, and it means I won't have to move it for transformation. Come on. Oh, that's... Eh. So I'll stick it in there. And you, you could try and pretend it's a jaw. Om nom nom nom. It, it doesn't work so well. But it's not it's not terrible, I guess. But transformation, you take this head off. You flip the tail up a little bit. Stand the whole figure up. Fold the arms down. Flip the foot bits back. Uh, flip the foot bits back. And just plug that into the chest. And there he is in raw mode. Or she, I don't care, it's a robot. And it's quite cool. It's quite well made. It looks very pretty, doesn't it? Very nice. Again, no real stuff lying over it. Looks pretty good. Okay. Now you see, while I was messing with this one, I was like, oh yeah, and you can get into pose, and you can go, ha ha, look, I'm, I'm going to jump, and I'm going to... Why's it got pegs there? That's odd. Why's it got pegs? And... Hmm. This is a combining set. Oh yes, yeah, this is a combining set. Uh, let me just get a quick size comparison for these robot modes. So let me get these like here ish. You come here, you try and stand and not fall over. Elephant, uh, I say elephant help this one stand, but you're not really doing a good job, are you? There you go. Yeah. And for size comparison, KO Studio Series Voyager Long Haul. So they're, they're deluxe, okay? They're, they're deluxe for now so we'll start at the bottom and this is where it gets incredibly parts formery so we're going to straighten the arms out rip, rip the head off stay take the elephant head off split this down the middle as is tradition with Japanese robots uh, try, might as well get these feet pieces through. Try and fill out the side here a little bit. Tuck that out of the way. Tidy that up a bit. Tidy it up. And uh, with these bits lying around, that's the head and the elephant head, we leave him like that. We then get this piece. We take the head off. We take the arms off. We fold the knees up, Mother Brown, do, 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 do. and then we plug these pegs into these holes. Ah, it's getting big. I didn't realize quite how big. I'm not sure I've got enough uh, height for this. Oh dear. All right. Uh, bad planning. Uh, we got this one, and we take the arms off. 
take the whole sort of wasty stomach section off. Yeah, man. There we go. And then we drop this, those two holes, onto those two pegs. Okay. E bag, um, come on. We get the lower waist section. We split it. We rotate this all the way down. And they make hands, arms, and plug them into the sides. Shoulders. Okay. All right. Okay. At which point we make sure some of this, all this stuff is kind of out of the way. Rotate these legs down a bit. We got this one. We put the birdie head thing back the way it was. And then using this big peg that's between the wings into the back there, we just try and make sure everything's out of the way because this is a bit. Yeah. So you plug on there, and then you basically stop the camera falling. Yep. You sort of adjust the legs and things to your preference. Um, Whatever, just 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 stay out of the way. Don't care. Okay. And this is the main. Ooh, that's got some back weight to it now. This is the main machine. Together, main combined force. Okay. Right. Good. Good. But we've got all this left over. So, mouth head's going to go as a shield. So we're going to plug it into there. Mammothy, elephant, whatever head. Um, the best I've seen is you basically just fold these up with the bit on the front for a change. You just plug that into the shins. It's about as good as you can get, kids, sadly. Um, I should really tidy up the back bit more. It might help with the weight because these aren't the heaviest things in the world. But uh, the pictures also say that you get these and plug them into the shoulders. Which I'm not convinced about, but we'll do as we're told. And the only things we've got left are the uh, tiger head and the elephant head. And you can go around looking for places to plug them in, but the best place I've found, and this is really stupid, is the armpits here. But I face them backwards, so you can't see the actual faces. Just to give some sort of illusion that I haven't just hidden two heads there. You know? Uh, this has gone quite a bit longer than I thought it was going to. Alright, you go there. Fortunately, I've got a decent charger in my room. And considering I've been up since, like, uh, well, about four o'clock this morning, I'll get a decent sleep and I'll have another go tomorrow. Because I'm off tomorrow. Yay! Actually, it depends when this goes up. You might not know that. Huh? I'm not sure when I'm going to upload this. So, yes. That is complete complete combined mode. And there's Studio Series Voyager Long Haul. They are significantly large. They are somewhere in a leader class now. And they are absolutely ridiculous. I mean, the joints are difficult. Uh, some of these joints are difficult anyway because you of the hexagonal uh, pegs. You can turn them, they just don't like it. Uh, but then you got all this weight onto... I mean, this has got no heels. Bless it, it's not really got any heels and there's not much weight in this. I mean, I could put some putty or something in the bottom of these feet to weigh it down. But um, not really. But still, it's a random, weird and wacky combiner. What's not to love about it? It's one of my favourite things. Just strange combiners are just fantastic. Ah, uh, X-Buddies. Anyway, um, yeah, that's it. Um, I'm not actually sure when I'm going to upload this. Um, I might record this one tonight, record some more in the morning, and just decide what order I put them up in. I might just go, that's it for the next couple of weeks. Cheers, and not worry. But we'll see. And so, I should be ugly. I should be wretched. I'll see all of you.
the next one. Bye.